What you were watching, according to sheriff's deputies, has never been tested in the U.S. before. We've done lots of skid testing on dry roads, wet and icy, but uh, I haven't had a crash yet that involved, you know, that liquid would be ice or had been. Law enforcement does skid testing all the time to determine how slick various road conditions are and to determine how fast cars are going when they crash. But no one in the U.S. has ever skid tested on roads with fresh de-icer until today. So we want to see if there's any difference between the dry pavement versus de-icer that's been on the road for some time. Sheriff's deputies have special motivation to see how slick de-icer is here. This is the spot way out on East Wellesley on December 29th that two teenage girls crashed, slamming into this power pole. They crashed minutes after de-icer had been applied to the road. Did that de-icer make the road slick and how fast were those girls going? Try to get an idea of the friction value for this crash to help me uh, get a speed analysis on this one. So over and over again with high-tech instrumentation in tow, I'm going to get up uh, just a little bit over 60. They slam the brakes with anti-lock brakes and without. And what did they learn? First the, first, the girls who wrecked were going around 88 miles an hour when they slammed on their brakes. And second, the de-icer makes the roads only slightly more slippery than dry pavement. Because this is the first de-icer test of its kind in the United States, they hope to make this stopping data available to law enforcement groups around the country. Reporting to Spokane Valley, McKay Allen, KXOY4 HD News.